Well, we're here standing next to the identity theft jailbreak truck now. It, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, we're finally kind of get to talk, you know, face to face on what this truck is about. It, uh, it started a lot of different things. You know, it, at first it was going to be, uh, we didn't know what the name was going to be. We always had the body kind of laying around. Um, and then uh, the actual idea came from we were just watching it. It was a commercial for that movie that was identity theft with that that one lady, and it was you know where she stole that guy's identity. And uh, you know, kind of chuckled. We watched that movie, and then it was just kind of you know at the end of the movie when it or the commercial, it kind of had identity theft at the end of it. And it just right then I was like, that'd be a great idea for that truck. And then we could do a spoof, a knockoff, you know, and see you know do a little ha ha thing. You know, so we always had kind of plans. The original was going to just have tons of credit cards and driver's licenses and, and see if, you know, we could just get a bunch of expired people's driver's license. It looked like the whole thing was just a whole pile of it. And like a guy at the end, you know, like he was picking them up. And, but, you know, trying to find the design guy that could come up with that kind of idea, it fell through. So it was like, well, you know, we could kind of just do the, you know, the couple of credit cards like we did. So we painted those on because we were able to do those. And, uh, we had, you know, the designs where the lady came out and painted the, the green vapors, you know, because we were trying to, okay, let's just do a little bit different here, a little different here, and we changed some things. And it wasn't so bad when we had the, the, the chassis that we were building on one side of the shop and the body on the other side. It was like, oh, yeah, there's going to be enough differences. You know, it's going to look good. And then as everything started coming together and we started bolting all the parts together, it was like, uh-oh, this thing's really starting to look a little bit too much like, uh, you know, the Gravedigger truck. So I actually was the first one to make the phone call. After we put the thing all together, we did our test, test drive outside the shop, and I actually called Keith Speller, you know, from Monster Jam, and I called him and left a message, said, hey, you need to call me right now, because I actually, I think I made a mistake. So he called me, he's like, what's going on? And I said, well, here's the deal. I made a spoof truck. Um, you know, we were trying to do a bunch of differences, and I think you guys are actually gonna be a little bit more upset than I think you were because of how it looks. Um, so he's like, okay, send me some pictures. So I sent him a bunch of pictures in a couple of days. They, you know, responded back with, yeah, that's that's too close for our likings. So I was like, not a problem. You know, what do you want? Well, we could come up with agreed terms on what to, to make the truck look like. So we actually ran them without the body for the first few shows until we could come up with agreement. And then the agreement came to be we had to cover the green vapors and cover the flames on the hood. You know, and then that was how identity theft became. It was they had the purple vapors. The the green ones were covered and then we ended up just doing the, the chrome scallops on it. Uh, we ran that for a year. It was, uh, again, you know, you people think, oh, we're, you know, they say on the internet, you're going to get sued. Oh, I can't believe you're doing that. It was never like I was trying to take over Gravedigger. It was just a, a funny ha-ha. It was a spoof. You know, it's uh, more or less, it's it's just something to, I don't know, laugh about. Um, you know, people always say, you know, you got the, the you got the haters out there that, oh, you know, you're just copying somebody else's hard work. It's I'm just out there having a good time. You know, it's it is it's too hard to try to you know design everything yourself and to start scratch and come up with something new because it'll take you a year to build a truck. When I can build a truck in 40 days, you know, start to finish and be running it, it's easier for me to do that way. You know, I've got the California Kid, I've got Rockstar that are all on, my designs on it. They work just fine, but they took a lot longer to make. Um, you know, the reason why we kind of build the chassis the way we do now is because they're proven. You know, it's they're middle-of-the-road trucks. They work great. They can catch air. They can uh, do donuts. They can do wheelies. Uh, they can race. So it's it, it's a great um, universal truck to be able to do monster trucks. Well, what happened to the full Hawk Warrior? Was that going to be one of your trucks? No, what that was is it was just to be able to get a rise out of the computer kids. You know, because of the identity theft created so much controversy and it got, you know, some people were loving it, some people were hating it. And we just thought, oh, let's go ahead and throw another one out there just to be able to see if we could stir some people to be able to get that social media buzz. So we just threw on there, hey, we're going to do a faux hawk warrior just to try to get people saying, oh my God, what are they doing now? This and that. And that the way it starts sharing. And it boosted our Facebook. We probably got a thousand more likes out of it just because wow. so many people were, you know, sharing it. And, you know, obviously some of them were haters. Some of them were, oh, that's going to be cool. This and that. I mean, we didn't even have a design. We talked about it, this and that. But again, you know, the jailbreak is what we ended up having our plans on. It's just something to be able to get more of a buzz going on. You know, it's just like, We've talked about to where we want to do a truck called Big Fraud, make it look just like Bigfoot and all that. It just, will we ever do it? Probably not, but it'll get a lot of buzz and we can do a little Photoshop and just to get uh, the social media buzzing again. You know, when I first seen that name out there, I was hoping you were going to do it because <laughs> it, 
It looked like it was going to be a good truck. You know, then, you know, like I said, we, we yeah. kicked it around, you know, see if we could do a little flat mohawk on top on the roof yeah. and just, but again, it's, it was just something to be able to kind of another spoof and, you know, we, we try to just come up with things just to really if, like we kind of talked off air, you, either people love you and they love to see you because they love you or they hate you, but they still want to watch you because they hate you. So it's right. just, you know, nobody likes that guy in the middle of the road. So it's, they've already got their heroes out there. So I'll be the guy that they're going to hate. <laughs> okay. Let me see.